What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Italian States. In this episode we are continuing our scrapping um, in the Indian subcontinent, this time pushing west from Bengal. We're going to be engaging this force on the northern edge of the river, which will also draw in this army to the south. Um, but one thing to bear in mind is that this army has a significant amount of relatively good melee infantry, so we don't want to be careful about how far we rush up. And interestingly, they also have... Um, collectively between them, four generals on elephants, so uh, they should be interesting, interesting to knock out, and we have a significant component, component of our army is uh, elite infantry and cavalry. So this should be interesting, so let us attack the enemy, because we are going to need to keep the uh, pressure on in the in the east to make sure they don't um, they don't then pivot the majority of their troops westward against our uh, against the massive amount of armies we're bringing into bear um, against them. To be honest, we've got loads of battles to fight on this continent. And every turn, I think, if we are being that decisive with our actions on all fronts at once, they'll just collapse. Ooh, foggy. That's always fun. So let's put a couple of units down here. Let's put our... Okay, I'm probably going to put two guards and a line unit in the center so then let's put two marines on each flank which is rather nice um, rather nice flank unit the left is gonna need a bit of a, a bit of an adjustment because they do have this terrain feature here that might cause us some issues got some Albanian warband to deploy on either flank and let's make sure we've got some cavalry spread about to try to do some good. And our howitzers, and also hope down the line we don't get screwed over on deployment from the uh, the reinforcing army coming in. There you go, that should be everyone. So the quick climbing howitzers focus on melee troops, field artillery engage who you like. So this marine unit's probably going to deploy like so. And these units can go around. To be honest, it looks like they have actually very little cavalry, so my dragoons might actually stay fire at will on and pretty much make up part of the line. The right flank is where the bulk of their cavalry is, which is good because that's where the bulk of our cavalry is. So this artillery should be... Yes. A, it's done a load of damage to their artillery, but also it's knocked out a whole bunch of their elephants at once. I'm okay with that bombardment because we do have a significant amount of enemy artillery on the field. And with no major attack um, being or emerging... Actually, I might make sure you guys are attacking appropriate units. Like Hindu warriors are always... Hindu warriors, Islamic swordsmen are nice targets to focus on. That's another elephant knocked out. To be honest, they should probably all focus on one set of guns to make sure they're knocked out. And part of my interest in causing some of their units to rout is that I would very much like to see where their reinforcements are going to enter the field from. So I am mo do dropping a lot of support on the, the right flank. You're probably best to service that demand. You're going to continue... Well, hit the bow unit, I suppose. Good, that's, an, that's a gun taken out. Good, so we have a routing unit. I am very curious to see where the... With enemy reinforcements come from so I'm, I'm not keen to advance because we do have a uh, significant enemy melee presence didn't bring my warband on the left into into the fight more artillery coming in Ooh, 
Okay, it looks like the one to reorganise. So where... Okay, that's not a reinforcing unit, that's just a unit that's flanking. Hmm. They're deploying quite wide. Maybe potentially I do just start. Okay, right. Now they're now they're coming for us. So we probably need to focus fire on the the enemies coming in. This right flank is going to be delicate, very delicate. Well, this left flank is going to be delicate, I should say. Might bring my cuirassier over here. Let's keep my dragoons mobile. Keep my warband skirmishing. Get these two units to fall back. So canister shot these chaps as they advance. So let's get this marine unit on the flank to form square. I do want my cuirassier to continue on their advance over in this direction. My dragoons charge the dervishes to make sure they rout. Let's get my warband to retreat more this way. They will likely suffer some damage at the cost of some friendly fire. Or to be honest, they might just get wiped out completely. I'm definitely making the right call here. I've avoided the Hindu warrior combat. Okay, I might have to. These Kurasia are going to continue that attack. Let's make sure my make sure my um, lances stay mobile. Let's get some of our howitzers to attack the Hindu warriors now that they are exposed. Let's make sure the... Okay, Curassier. If you could knock out those chaps, that would be great. I could potentially want to get these guys out of square and forming... A bit of a better front for you. Dragu uh, Lancers keep running. Okay, so these combats, okay, you men both charge the Hindu warriors, which means attack ground maneuvers for quick climb pretty much everywhere on the right flank. Try run my cuirassier out of the way. You guys keep shrapneling the Tufangi. So get my cavalry back. My heavy cavalry are routing. That's understandable. So let's try bring my lancers in to hit the back of the Hindu warriors. So we do have some reinforcements coming in. charge into the Hindu warriors. We don't want the general. To be honest, I should have probably have optimised my reinforcements a bit more intelligently than I did. So these guns switch to round shot, bombard Hindu musketeers at range, bring our cavalry back. Uh, it's not too terrible. So the warband are experiencing enemy bow fire, which you can't really do a huge amount about. So who's that over there? Two fangy coming in. Two so should have probably been a bit more decisive and got rid of that infant that um, artillery because it's not really needed. Get my artillery to chase down their foot artillery. So where are their reinforcements coming in? Not entirely sure, but I probably want you guys to limber up. 
so I can pull my line back. We can do a reasonable amount with the troops we've got, but ideally we want to start pulling our line back. You guys limber up as well. Where's my cavalry? Nope. Send the artillery back. So let's get our marines to hit the Hindu warriors. Let's bring our lancers in to also hit the Hindu... Yeah! Okay, so the enemy are coming in on the other flank. You guys try to smack into the rear of that Hindu warrior unit. You guys potentially might... No. Not bothered about having... Whoa, okay. You men go take out their foot artillery. I think they're going to go, they're going to take our cavalry down. So let's pivot our left flank to meet this threat. Run our infantry back here, get our howitzers way out of the way. So these howitzers I want to attack too fangy. This, these gun teams both attack that unit of foot artillery all the way to the rear. Get these men back. Marines, that's what I want to see. That artillery might not be too bad. The Lancer Guards are going to have to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. These guns on the left are going to focus on the new enemy coming in, as are the that this howitzer and definitely this howitzer fortunately they're more conventional to keep the gun teams running away so this gun team that's in position soon to be in position and limber start firing at range one of our howitzers has been caught So you're going to have to charge into those men here. The line infantry guards are going to have to smash into the dervishes. This is going to turn into a melee combat, which again, it's part of a good reason why we've got marines over here. So you men charge the bowmen. This warband has returned, so bring them up for some skirmishing. Another unit of marines. Let's run them over. To be honest, you guys should probably just stay back here. Islamic swords, I'm going to broken, charge those marines into the cavalry. These marines form up against that infantry. The warband attack that unit of infantry there. So you guys are running. Just make them run towards the fight. We're not so picky about where they decide to join it. Both men focus on those musketeers. You guys should be opening up against that unit of musketeers. These guys form line. You men form line to take out that unit. My gun team that's back here keep bombarding the 65th. So I think that's going to be the spell the end of that two man on the left. I think that Dakil is going to go down. Yeah, they're still active. I mean, these marines should knock out those men pretty handily. Excellent. Form up a new right flank. 
The left are holding admirably. We've got a Hindu Musketeer unit that's standing, but to be honest, I think we got them. My, my howitzer unit switched to round shot. Begin counter battery. So my new infantry brigades that are advancing are going to sweep in and knock out the gun team, the general, and some of these units that are sitting to the rear. These howitzers are still in good shape. The one on the right can hit the musketeer unit. The one on the left can switch to round shot, engage general's bodyguard to the rear. I mean, these guys are they're getting a lot of cover. Okay, these two units push up. Put their guns under threat. So now these units can both focus on the Hindu Musketeers that are advancing to their front. These men advance to try to chase off some of these guns. This fight's still ongoing. Marines v Bowman. Good old Marines. Routing. Withdrawing artillery that's withdrawing a very, very poor direction. Okay, there we go. Artillery here. Switch to round shot. Engage the 24 pounders. To be honest, let's begin a bit of a a bit of a counter-attack. Dervishes. It's probably poor... No, I want to keep... So you guys aren't attracting any actual fire. The guns that are all the way over there. Now they are range limited. Bowmen are advancing. Two units capable of musket fire. Okay, round shot the dervishes, please. You might even be able to... Yes, you can quick climb a unit of dervishes. But these men can load... Can pour fire into the 24 pounders and see them off. Those guys halt. <laughs> Just form up and engage the general's bodyguard. <laughs> fire. There might be a bit of friendly fire going on here, but... These men here have got a brave, bold task, because they are pretty much holding off an entire army, or going to be holding off an entire army by themselves. Let's turn, the, let's turn these men around to engage the general's bodyguard. Yeah, the dervishes are coming. I think the howitzers are firing? So, definitely want to run, because the round shot's coming in. Okay, good. Pivot. Pivot. Because once this unit of musketeers routes, then these guys can do an almighty pivot alongside the 44th foot guards. Keep on running. <laughs> Dervishes and Islamic swordsmen abound. So let's push. Push towards the new threat. You men ceasefire for now. 
Okay, the howitzers to quick climb these units that are chasing our army, our men. Because to be honest, the unit of dervishes isn't actually that dangerous. But it's if they got surrounded by a dervish unit, Islamic swordsman unit. There we go. We're getting a couple, making a couple of dents. This artillery team bombard the Tufangi. To be honest, I might even bring two of these units back to make sure the Tufangi does fall. So we've a second unit of dervishes coming in, but that's preferable to another unit of um, Islamic swordsmen or some such. Demon fire at will. Hopefully pour a volley into the Islamic swordsmen and force them to rout. Hopefully. Although it looks like you probably might not get to do that on time. You may just cease fire, open fire from there. Musketeers are charging. Ooh, pretty good quick line there, but let's still retarget. Maybe not the levy. Because we know how Levy feel about charging. Eh, it might not be the worst idea. Let's get these artillery units. Attack ground here. Arc some, lob some round shot into the general's bodyguard. The Marines are doing well. The question is, is that enough? Yeah, there we go. The enemy dervishes have hit our line, which are going to counter charge with our own Marines. This unit of levy can charge. Well, this unit of infantry can charge their levy. General's bodyguard's been pushed back. Our cavalry's in a charge. The dervishes on the into in the rear on the left flank. More Islamic swordsmen on the right flank. Run this unit of marines up. Form everyone except my general. I said except my general, but whatever. Form ranks. My general's bodyguard is going to go on a courageous mission behind enemy lines to knock out their artillery. This infantry is going to push around behind this unit of dervishes to surround and destroy. My marines are holding off these Kizil Kizilbashi musketeer units admirably. New men push up and hit this Islamic swordsman unit because they're about to hit us in the flank. Uh, one of our one of our um, infantry units is broken against the levy. Okay, I thought to be honest, I think a good chunk of it's going to be. It's going to be friendly fire. Well, a good amount of our casualties are going to be due to friendly fire, so it's form our line up like so. My general is going to make short work of their artillery because they are now exposed. The dervishes are wavering. So they should fall in due course. There we go, folks on the levee. My marines form up. Howitzers drop quick climb on the Kizilbashi. General's bodyguard pursue and destroy their gun teams. The levy have been destroyed. Form up. That unit of musketeers is likely to rout. There we go. Cease the artillery fire because this will likely be the end of their faction. Well, not the end of their faction, the end of their army, which I believe it is. Yes, we are going to continue. 
I'm not going to do that much damage because it's mostly our general that's alive, but it's just our general that can pursue, so pretty much just pick an infantry unit and have at it, general. He's gaining some good experience though, that's what matters. Yeah, we're not going to get too many kills across the board. Because we are so close to the edge of the map. But I do want to try and get that artillery crew. So sometimes when you right click, they'll stop to fight you when they get close enough. And then chase down this unit of musketeers. You are our sole pursuing unit. So that unit of dervishes is, is going to route successfully. To be honest, I expect this levy unit to also route okay. Just because it's spread out. There's a cluster of guys over here. So, yeah, there they are. Over there. So we'll do some good damage to them. But sadly, probably not enough to wipe them out. Yeah, there we go. They're, they're right at the edge of the map. But still, I'll take the victory. It was not a free victory, it was not an easy victory, but a victory, it remains. So we've lost two units, which I'm gonna, probably going to replace with... So it's a howitzer and an artillery unit we lost, so I'd probably buy another howitzer and an infantry unit. To reform that army. So you men replenish, and you can look to recruit. Okay, well... Oh, I forgot what got Gurkhas, don't we? Damn right we do. Schrodinger, get on it. <laughs> on all the Gurkhas. I'm not going to look at the west yet, because I'm pretty sure even though a good chunk of our troops have been moved, we could do a fight, a massive battle here, which would be quite good, I think. Um, the core of our, our line here can't really push up. I mean, we can secure Patna finally and destroy it. To be honest, you guys could just push up. Because we've got the recruitment. I noticed the recruitment went funky. We started to recruit. Okay, let's just add an extra Howard its own company infantry here in Calcutta. Can Giorgio and Mazzaretti Leave Katak yet, minus six, which hopefully will become minus two. Which will, once I've recruited some Dragoons, reduce even further because I want to use Dorastante Balbus to smash east into Ali Shafi and push back another full stack. Because then you suddenly look at the east and go, my, they're actually pretty weak here as well. So they're going to have to try and organise to fight us. So again, lots of melee infantry. We want to use our firepower advantage, especially as it's a single army. We know exactly where they're coming in from. So just force them to run into our muzzles and gun them down. I mean, I can't help it. I'm probably going to continue doing stupid attacks and charges just because why the hell not? Um, but the smart, the smart money would very much be on, you know, take the ground and let your guns and your research into... Ooh, although I would actually probably like to slowly trundle forward a bit. So I might put one gun back here that can constantly be doing counter battery. And I'm going to want a gun team to trundle forward with some infantry in the middle. Which may be only two fusilier units in the middle. You're back there. So we are going to push our line up, but it means we've got some really, really healthy flank units. Which, to be honest, is probably what my army composition should be. Because more often than not, in these Indian battles, it's the, the flanks I cock up more frequently, rather than the centre. And the centre ends up becoming a bit too static. Deploy our howitzers right up front, because we're going to be advancing. Go. So when I say trundle up, we are not going to be going far. I'm okay with letting my howitzers 
get off their first volleys at whatever they see fit. Everyone else, I think, is going to be in pretty good shape. The right flank we're going to be particularly dominant in. So my artillery focus, my howitzers at the rear focus on their howitzers. My quick climbing, well, my field artillery focus on their artillery. My other units engage. Ooh, pikemen. Yes, those would be nice to take care of. So the horsemen are engaging us with skirmish fire on the right flank. But they, however, will fall. Especially considering they, they're then reinforcing them with a camel unit, which will have the same result. Okay, we've got a cavalry charge on the right... Well... Semi-cavalry charge on the left flank. Pivot my line to make sure we don't have any more fire, but let my cavalry deal with the enemy. So let's push up our line fairly aggressively because we've got a good opportunity here to just surround the enemy. Um, our artillery up here and limber, you guys and limber. Our cavalry should win this fight because we have the distinctly superior cavalry to do that fight. We're going to push our line up a bit. But to be honest, we're probably going to take... I do see that cavalry charge, so let's take you guys. No, not like that, like this. Push towards the enemy to get them into their... your firing zones. I'm not going to be using... Ah, the charge into the flank of that unit there. Very well. So the plan is to not use fancy artillery rounds Use round shot, let them lob shells over our line. And we should be away. Don't want to push up too aggressively, because we do still want to actually... Um, ah! Form square, there's General's bodyguard coming at you. So quick climbing hearts is engaged. The massive troops coming in, which is, has done stupendously well. Sadly, we've got... There we go. Back into the mix. Let's hope you can push back both the dervishes and also these pikemen. Which should, pikemen should go down fairly quick. The trouble is, it's always a bit tricky. On this square, the right formation to... Uh, to respond to uh, elephants. I mean, I know heavy cavalry does pretty well, but so much so, I might more aggressively push out my infantry on that flank, and looks like might. Let's be a bit more pragmatic and do something like this. Let's let our handful of troops take the hit. Get our cavalry back, mainly because we've got such strength on the such strength out here wide. It would seem silly to not use it, really. The human, no, don't move. Stay where you are for now. Canister shot the enemy. Quick climb. Attack ground ahead of my infantry positions. General's bodyguard go after the artillery. You men attack the Islamic swordsmen. Okay, you guys have to pivot to start to try and get some fire onto this block of men. 
Charge my hussars in against the pikemen. My gunners here should be doing a tremendous job. Change our keep our howitzers firing in the right sort of spots. Let's keep this artillery engaging. This Islamic swordsman unit with shrapnel. Hindu musketeers, levy. Yeah, the Hindu warrior is going to hit this unit in the flank. That might not necessarily be a good idea for them. So there goes the volleys and the shrapnel fire is taking hold. Okay, I might pull one infantry unit back to help mob the Islamic swordsman to the rear. General's bodyguard hit the horse artillery. Looks like we've got some elephants coming in to support this combat down here. Okay, you guys hit the dervishes to make sure they stay, or to make sure they do break. You men charge the rear of the swordsmen. Pikemen are active again. go. Charge the Hindu warriors. Let's get our artillery dropping around shot on this unit, of gen this unit of General's bodyguard considering they have a a preference for wiping out okay you guys charge in the back of that Islamic sword and unit pretty ricky tick. Okay, bring... Okay. Not a great position for my hussars. Getting them back over here. So my heavy cavalry have smashed into their melee formation. Causing the swordsmen to rout. That swordsman unit will likely rout as well. Obviously our infantry did not entirely appreciate such an action. Let's get my cavalry back. Can you chase down the pikemen? You chase down... Actually, to be honest... Get these units into the mix. Heavy cavalry, knock out the swordsman unit. So I do note we have some... Reinforcements coming in. Not necessarily from an ideal vector, but there we are. So you guys try and knock out the Islamic swordsmen. My general's going after the pikemen here. I'm hoping this infantry can ad advance to pour fire onto this general's bodyguard. Wait a bit too long to recall that artillery. Might not have been terrible from this direction, but... Okay, both of our howitzers focus fire that general's bodyguard unit because they are charging. This general's bodyguard unit is being engaged by volley fire from the 159th. Again, bigger general's unit, they do still have hit points. So I wanted to knock out this Islamic swordsman unit because they are pretty high experience level. Okay, the German's bodyguard's routing, so get the howitzers to drop shots onto that unit of levy. They're out of range for that unit, but to be honest, if they don't get a shift on, they'll get shot with musket fire anyway. Let's get the, general's, the other general unit into the, the mix. You men have three, two, one Islamic swordsmen. No Islamic swordsmen to chase down. So if the levy is, is attempting to charge the general, we are just going to swiftly run around them. And instead focus on... Well, I say swiftly run around them. 
partially. Chase down some more interesting units we want killed. So don't worry about the dervishes, they're too far away now. Well, they're too, they're, they're too spread out. That's my main concern. General's unit is routed, so likely I think that's the end of their the end of their formation. It is. So let's continue. Ceasefire. Deploy the hussars. Potentially a bit late, but better late than never. Especially when we are actually gonna. They've got a fairly long way to go for some of their routing. Got some cuirassiers here as well. Let's try bring them to bear. You're not going to wipe out that horseman unit, but you should do not oh, swordsman unit rather, but you should do some good. Yeah, Kizil Bashir, the preference to kill rather than. Hindu Musketeers, because Hindu Musketeers are more akin to um, more mob-like units, I suppose. They aren't a a proper line infantry unit in the same vein as Kizilbashi. Let's get all the cavalry, well, a bunch of the cavalry, to focus on this swordsman unit, which will be very, very valuable to knock out. we go. Yeah, one guy tried to escape. But that's the end of him. That's another large Mughal army destroyed. Oh, significant losses there. I mean, we, we're losing men in reasonable numbers too. But I'd like to think that we can um, afford the losses, I suppose, in a way that the Mughal Empire ordinarily can't. So you might move eastward. Okay, good. So then let's move Ernesto Defendi into range here. So that Flavio Castiglione can attack Adil Bakshish. And we can then push these armies north of the river as well. Just keep on squeezing. Don't give them an opportunity to dig in. I mean, unfortunately, these guys have dug in because they have uh, defenses, but yeah, we'll be we'll be grand. It might make our pursuing a bit more difficult, but in the end of the day, I'd still, you know, a win is still beneficial to us, especially when we're killing them um, in, in significantly larger numbers than we are falling. So, not overly bothered about that. Okay, so let's split our guns up. We are going to push up ahead of this feature in the centre of the, our deployment zones. I don't want to get screwed over by having my army effectively cut in half. It's a pity. We do have significant amounts of uh, cavalry for the pursuit, so we might actually be a bit more risky than we ordinarily would be. Hussars open up on whomever you choose. And I might actually target these guys first. Yeah, just attack. Okay, we got a um, shrapnel shot if we push straight in. So, well, we've still got shrapnel shot regardless. We can either wait or we can push in. I wanted to get my guns up on this hill. To be honest, I'm probably just going to have to push in anyway. Can't afford to let them blow holes in our line with shrapnel fire. And the closer we get, it's the seemingly more um, unreliable shrapnel shot becomes. Okay. 
I mean, it is detonating early over these terrain features here. So where's my cuirassier? Let's throw them in as a bit of lancer bait. Throw our light cavalry in. Nope. Okay. They've declined that action. Oh, these horsemen on the flank attempted to do something. Yeah, they're just going to blow holes in our line. There's not a huge amount we can do about it. There's going to be a large cavalry charge on the right flank. I mean, I I'm kind of don't know if they're actually going to be firing... Um, if they're actually going to be this the uh, charging into us properly, like these guys appear to be wanting to make a statement. These units push up. So let's deploy our howitzers to keep bombarding the rear areas. These guys, well, Kizilbashi. Uh, not charging, but they are skirmishing us. The Lancers are charging, but then again they've made the mistake of running in front of a block of men while they're firing at infantry. So our loose gun focus on shrapnel shot on the horsemen. Some of the gunners have been turned away from artillery fire. Hopefully you can knock out the horsemen. Obviously a unit came back. Good. So then these men can turn the flank while our cuirassier deal with the native lancers. Let's bring my general in. Let's get our uh, cavalry on the move. There's some lancers behind us. We're about to charge into our square formation again. Although you're in square, so that misclick didn't screw you up. So attack ground, quick line right in front of our line. It looks like they desire us to chase them. Send my cuirassier in towards the general's bodyguard. Elephants, get you guys around the spikes. The Islamic swordsmen are attempting to charge our line, but they have now broken. So you men push up. Try send our cavalry to the rear to intercept the general. It looks like. Okay, now you men charge the lancers yourselves. Fundamentally, it looks like an awful number of their. Ooh, what's that? No, oh, those. Those scallywags got a shot at my cavalry. So we, want to, we need to start to roll up the right flank. You guys knock out the last two of those Islamic swordsmen. You guys switch to round shot. Because to be honest, we've still got a whole load of enemy units to deal with on the right flank. Hopefully you guys can beat the cavalry. Hopefully my lancers can beat the general's bodyguard. I'm always, I'm always curious to see what's the best unit to send against the general. And there we go, the the right flank is cracked. Oh my god, is everyone cracked? Oh no, there's reinforcements coming in. So you men charge the levy. We've got a unit of musketeers here that's still alive and kicking. Hopefully we can make the 
Musketeers route permanently, get the Curacio against the Kizilbashi. Good, so you men charge the levy. Oh, the Dakiel decided to come back. Will not come back. Engage the bowmen with quick climb, engage the musketeers with quick climb. Okay, now we're starting to win against the general's bodyguard. Okay, let's start to form a new line. Oh, there's, there's a damn um, cart in the way. Okay, another elephant unit has charged the combat, so I do not expect my cuirassier to do quite as well now. So you men can form a new line to face down the reinforcing enemy army. Although, yeah, General's bodyguard is wavering. They're, they're likely going to do okay. She goes charge straight into the bowmen, actually, because they are naught but bowmen. You can also charge into the bowmen. My artillery back here engage the enemy, because, frankly, um, not really looking forward to trying to deal with that general unit conventionally, so I'm going to have to rely on a bit of jiggery-pokery with long-range artillery, especially as they are actually... Yeah, now they're they're actually wavering now. And it sounds like they're charging. And they are indeed. So just run away. Ah, uh, my cavalry charged the bowmen, but then got mowed down by musket fire. That's okay. Let's bring my cuirassier back, because we know they are elephant repellent. We can't use the spikes against them, because they're their spikes. We're relying on dangerous artillery fire to knock them out. I wonder if you guys have a volley left. Or if you have a volley reloaded. No, sadly not. Ooh, some excellent artillery fire there. Completely cleaned out the elephant unit. You can see where the two shots went. Very well. Now we can push up and be on the offensive again, mostly. A couple of units routing, but it's understandable already. It was me being slapdash with them that caused them to be the way they are. And it looks like we are now forming up into a nice traditional line battle. So that Dark Eel is upset. Artillery shots inbound. Yeah. They've decided they no longer want to continue their current behaviour. Are, are they really just charging after my... It's, this is what happens. They just seem to go, okay, we can't fight their actual army, so let's chase down their Cavalry. It's like, fine, you want to be like that? Let's be like that. Tufangi, Kizilbashi, and Hindu Musketeers. Has it stopped me from chasing down their army? It has, but somewhat temporarily. Because we all know what's going to happen. What's going to be brought in instead. Let me tell you, they're not going to like it. <laughs> they're already concerned from being shot at by artillery, let alone the massive line of people with guns. Yeah, as the shots come in, 
So this unit's already upset because they're at less than oh, less than ideal strength. Let's redeploy my cavalry again. Oh, I think my this cavalry is too far away to help out. Let's give it a go. You men just mob the two fangy. Let's knock the speed up a bit because right now there's only a handful of units actually resisting us. One of them's a two fangy unit here, and another one's an infantry unit that's going to break in the musket battle. Yeah, there we go. So I've made my general's bodyguard and my cavalry hopefully run in straight lines around the defences. Well, you just got clipped by one. Eh, you both focus on this Kizilbashi unit. You can all focus on it. Oh, they've all gone. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. But at least that is a fairly large enemy force. Significantly damaged. One unit actually completely destroyed. So Flavio, you men repair. Balthazare, you push up. Ernesto, it was only your regiment of horse that took damage. So you men are going to push up. Along with Nino Boscovic. Well, I'm curious to know what side of the river you're on. I think you're on this side. So if I take Ernesto, who's pretty much fine. I oh, know he can't actually. I can't attack. Okay, I can't attack you with this guy. What about Nino? Okay. In which case, then, Nino's going to push against Kunul. And they're not going to be brought in. Huh. Um, yeah, let's fight this now, actually, to be honest. I was about to say, well, maybe we should end the episode. No, it's a tiny battle, really. We can, uh... I know, I know how I'm going to end this episode. I got it. I got a plan. So let's, let's clear out this, um, small Mughal force to the south. And then see what we've got to play with. I've got a strong feeling that a lot of our troops have actually run out of movement. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Small force. Um, there is a cavalry contingent, but we're not worried about that. We're not going to be able to do much pursuing, because we've only got two cavalry units. A lot of artillery is going to attack that 24 pounder. Coming all the quick line. So let's start actually allocating it intelligently. All of our guns attack the general's bodyguard. Everyone push up aggressively. We can push cavalry up partially, but again, we've not really got a huge amount. But we can actually, to be honest, maybe hitting the musketeers would also be useful on the left. Because they're deployed in the right, the right direction, while well, they were. So the sick Grenadier Regiment is opening up, because they're just on the edge. Well, there's the General. Yeah, quick climb is, land quick climb is landing.
Let's generally push up and start putting units under threat. So my general might go after the 24 pounder because they're exposed. Kizilbashi cavalry are likely not going to stand. To be honest, I should probably focus on the rest of their army with my field artillery. Oh no, I think they are focused on my general's bodyguard. Old Nino. Oh no, they're not after Nino. He can knock out these gunners and make a very practical contribution here. Then there's also a... That Kizilbashi unit is routing, so they can come back. They are routing as well. They're not shattered, so there is still an element of risk. You charge the bowmen. Same with you guys. These men are all able to fire at the general's bodyguard. Bring the hussars in. The amount of musketry that's going to hit this general's bodyguard. The 100th, the 97th. Well, i got to reload first. And obviously we get sound snafus. Okay, because we're going to be charging, I might switch to round shot for most of my artillery. So you men... Why did you rout? They'll be back. See? They had no... I mean, it must have been artillery that upset them. Because in the grand scheme, they didn't really have much of a reason to be afraid. See, so you men just do a number on the bowmen. Keep on spinning. No, no, there we go. All my artillery is on round shot. Engage the last unit of Mughal infantry. Okay, all the artillery now cease fire. And we're going to do what we can. We might be better off focusing our strength on the... Kizilbashi units that haven't got so strung out. I mean, this unit might be about to get strung out, but this unit was already... Well, that unit was a disaster. This unit, however, is going down pretty well. But again, just need to do as much damage as we can. Yes, they turned around. They decided they didn't want freedom. And they're both there. Oh, they're both gone. This unit, however, though, has really spread out. You can see it. So, yeah, there's only so much that can be done with this group. Well, a lot of them just died there. That can happen. Units can... You can right-click a unit and men just die. They're not even under attack, they just die. So where's the catch? Yeah, there it is. Occasionally keep on updating the right clicks, because sometimes 
they will stop to try fight you. Like that. There we go. <laughs> the fools. The fools. There's another step on the road to victory. So I'm not quite sure what this guy is going to be up to. Ooh, actually, we are within range. No, not with many armies. I mean, you're re you're. You need replenishment. You can get within range. You need replenishment. A lot of replenishment, but can get in range. So let's move you within spitting distance of those guys to remind me. But I think. I think we are. Can't really do more battling here, but I think if I take Luciano Volta, I can at least attack. If I attack this guy, I can defeat their garrisons. Hmm. If I take the city in a quick attack, that'll do loads and loads more damage, but I don't know about the practicalities of doing it. So if I run another infantry unit just out of the just out of the way, the route is still open. But do I attack the city or do I attack the army? I think city might be the smarter answer because we've got if I attack the army, so many of their troops will keep streaming in. So the smart idea is to, is to take this army and attack Hyderabad. So again, it will be quite a significant action, which we're going to have to prepare for quickly. Actually, it's not so bad. Hmm. Not so bad. I think it's probably because they've got some armies that are stuck deployed in the city, which will deploy outside the city once we've won. Um, but yes, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the assault on Hyderabad. Cheers, everyone.